How do you know I never looked at you? Hey, um... Because I looked at you all the time. What? Then tell me what, what I'm good at. Tell me what, what my genre specialty is. What kind of genre is she writing? She's writing some freaky stuff? <laughs> Welcome to Danganronpa, everyone. <sighs> Danganronpa. Da -da -da. Begin from where you left off. Is that okay? That's okay. Okay, so we're now on the what? The second day now here? Or I guess our first full day begins. Okay, and over here we can see where everyone is at. Okay, that's that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Wait, what was that? What's that? What's X? Yo, I love that sound. Okay, what's up, man? Good morning. <laughs> yes, morning greetings are quite a delight, such as energizing way to start the day. You understand? It's trying to rhyme? Now then, let's make sure we both do our very best throughout the day. Sh sure. I wonder if he's always like that. Close that mouth, man. What the hell are the ladies at? Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh yeah, he's here too. This dude. Let's let's let's. <laughs> Do I even want to talk to him? I don't like this dude. Get him out the way. Good morning, Biakuya. Huh? Did you not hear me? Hey, Biakuga. Good morning. Yeah, that's right. I'm talking to you. Look at me while I'm talking to you. Speak up. I don't have time to play with you. I'm only here to get breakfast. I have neither need nor desire to talk to you. Now withdraw. No, screw you too. So he did hear me. He just didn't respond. What an uptight. Okay, let's talk to you. Then I'll talk to you. Best for last, right? <laughs> okay, what's up? Oh, yeah, what? Chihiro. Okay, let me try to remember her name. You know, we're standing here exchanging morning greetings, but we can't even look out the window to see if it's really is morning. That's yeah, true. You can only trust those clocks, which is kind of... I don't know. That, that kind of made me feel a little different about that. Now, now you mention it, like... Sorry if I was kind of weird. You have to apologize. I'm sorry. She looks really sad. I feel like I did something wrong. You did nothing wrong. She's just... I don't know. Good morning, Kyoko. Morning. <laughs> why, why make her voice deep? <laughs> this doesn't seem like to be going anywhere. Um, what? Did you need something? No. Uh, no. Nothing in particular. Hi. Well then. And she left? <laughs> Kyoko seems kind of, how should I put it, taciturn? Or maybe she just plays things off cool. What's that? Where is this? Oh, yeah, I wasn't able to go in here the other day. Interesting. Okay, so this is where all the food is. There's a bunch of vegetables all piled up. There's so many different kinds. All super healthy, I bet. Still, I'd rather have some cake. Um, oh, knives! Okay, that's nothing to point out. Okay, it looks like there's nothing else I could do in here. I have any reason to go to the school area. I need to go to get to Sayaka's room. Okay, yeah, that was my objective. Sayaka. Yeah, let's get to Sayaka's room. Okay, let's see what's going on with Sayaka, though. There's a doorbell next to the door. I guess I should use that. Okay. Hello? Good morning, Sayaka. Hi, Makoto. Hey, perfect timing. Huh? Um, listen. Favorite task. Oh, yeah, I can right-click. Nice. Yeah, action that. What? Action that. Bro, what are you talking about, man? I was just getting ready to head out, if it's okay. Would you like to come with me? Maybe we could talk? Oh yeah, sure. Where are you headed? Um. I've been thinking that there might be something around here I could use for self-defense. Self-defense? <laughs> Yo, this didn't make Makoto funny. Well, I mean, whoever's keeping us here could show up and attack us at any time. You never know. True, not to mention you also have your other classmates who are trying, who may or may not kill you to try and get out to. Whoever presented us with rules for murdering each other, whoever put us in this insane position, she's right. We never know when they might, at might attack. Um. Even her? So, I just want to be able to protect myself no matter what happens. Weapons to protect herself. Well, now that I think about it, that display case in the gym entry area had a bunch of stuff maybe. <laughs> oh, the gym? Okay, let's go. Uh, again? Come on, I'm kidding. Seriously, I have an amazing intuition. Am I really that so easy to predict? 
Dude, you're over here reacting insanely to little things. So, of course, I think you're easy to read. For one who just hates walking around the school, we've got some good news. You can now teleport using the map section of the handbook menu. Finally, try not to teleport inside the walls. There's a chance you might get lost forever. Is that foreshadowing something? Can I teleport into walls intentionally? Before we actually do our teleportation, just stand there for a second. I want to talk to this dude. I didn't know he was around. Oh boy, they stopped the music for this. What is that? Oh, why you, why I gotta start talking to you? You're already salivating, salivating or whatever. Mr. Nagi, Miss Maizono, where are the two of you off to? A man and a woman growing closer. Hey, what are you trying to say? Like when two people are stuck in a hostage situation, and over the course of the story, they fall in love. There's really no other way to express it, but to say. I feel as if. How very poetic. Makoto, do you have any idea what he's talking about? Aren't you supposed to have good intuition? Nope, I don't have a clue. Oh, hey, what's up with you? Celeste. I hope you are well. Ah, thank you. Thank you for speaking to me, too. I'm doing well as well. <laughs> I changed that common greens. It's somehow strange. Okay? Chill. Given the circumstances and everything. You know, sometimes you scare me a little. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Celeste. We should we get going? Yeah. Um, and if I remember, the gym is down this way. Actually, yo, this is where all the people are at? The store? I should probably go tell me I can't go in there. This girl is weird. Okay, what's up? So go together with those two. Quite a combination. Yeah, they mentioned it. She's with the big girl and the other one, so. What's your problem? What's your problem? Be quiet. Oh no, I was thinking that you three make a pretty unique team. Let me make it p perfectly c clear. Me hanging out with, with two people sh who have muscles where their their brains should be is not by ch choice. Just a second. That was mean. Hmm. Yesterday you were playing about how no one invited you. Now that's the only reason I asked you to come with us. I never a asked you to do a a anything to do. Okay, I'm tired of stuttering self. So stop trying to drag me further into your meat dimension. Jeez, I can't believe she ran off. You think we should go after her? Wait. We shouldn't pressure her any further. Well. Yeah, good point. They're like water and oil. Anyway, it would be weird if they did get along. That would be weird. And here we are. Nice. Well, here's some stuff you could use to defend yourself with. I like scavenging. It's a golden Buddha. Why is something like that on display? Hmm, I have some significance down the road. Is this a sword? Oh no, I think it's just a replica. Still, it's pretty expensive. It's completely covered in gold coating. Jeez, I barely touched it and I got that gold stuff all over my hands. Uh, um. Wow, you're right. Your hands are to totally gold. Even just for self-defense, I think it's a little... Well, it's still better than nothing, I guess. Hey. You should take it with you. It might help liven your room a little bit. You think so? <laughs> but I guess you'd better be careful taking it back. You should wrap up it up in newspaper or something. And just like that, it's been decided. Mm. I don't see anything I could really use for self-defense. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. It's not like you need it right away, right? Plus, if we were, if anything were to happen, when the time comes, I'll protect you. Okay, my so He's on. Okay, he's he's being smooth with it. That was smooth. You'll protect. Me? <laughs> if I've got you on my side, I guess I don't need a weapon after all. So basically, I'm your weapon. Sayaka giggled as she said that. That mysterious smile. I can tell it comes from the heart. It makes me feel at ease. When I look at her, I honestly feel like I could do anything. Haha, <laughs> yo! Encouragement! The power of romance! Okay, we can stop looking for a weapon then. But as long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more. Oh, a date? Um... Uh-huh. I know I said I wanted to talk to you, but now that we're here, I don't really know what to talk about. Sorry. And I was the one who invited you to come with me, too. Sorry. It's okay. I mean, if there's nothing to talk about, then we can just not talk, right? Mm. Yo, just being around each other, you no know, atmosphere or something. You don't have to force yourself to talk. We can just, I don't know, stare off into space or whatever. Stare off into space? Oh, but you'll probably get probably super bored just standing around doing nothing uh, um. 
No, it's not that it's boring, it's just... I've never really done it before. You don't have off of time to do... I guess that makes sense. You're just a normal high school student like me. You've got tons of stuff to do every day. Um, listen. Why'd she respond to that? Hey, um, this is kind of out of but... Makoto, do you have a dream? Oh, future, future goals and stuff? Well, what about you, Sayaka? What's your dream? I'd love to hear. My dream is I have a dream. I've always wanted to be a star, as long as I can remember. I grew up without a mother, you know. That's unfortunate to hear. And my dad worked really late every night. I was always home alone. I was just a kid, you know. So I was really lonely. But that all changed when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. Okay, and that inspired her to become an idol. She was so pretty, like a princess. All she could sing, and she could sing and dance. <laughs> You'll get Google. But more than ever, anything else, there was her smile. Looking back at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melt away, melting away. I decided that's what I wanted to be someday. I wanted to give that kind of encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. That's so amazing, though. You're able to actually fulfill your dream, your lifelong dream. Honestly, it's really incredible. I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean it. Even some things that weren't so ple pleasant. What did she do to try and become an idol? Huh? You see. Honestly, I honestly believe that as long as you kept chasing your dreams, someday they had to come true. Yo, look at her face. But to that, you can't take your eyes off your dream, not even for a second. Even if something that's bad, something, even if it's something that's, even if it's sometimes, even if some. why can't I read? Even if sometimes it's a bad dream, whether you're awake, whether you're asleep, to make your dream a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it no matter what. In that world, you... You, if you lose focus for even a split second, you get left behind. I'm speaking like the other girl with the glasses right now. You have to keep on swimming against the current without even taking some time to breathe. That's the kind of world my dream lives in. It, is it really that tough? Is it no fun at all? Oh no! Don't get the wrong idea. It's super fun. But, but that's exactly what scares me. I enjoy every single day I wake up and get to do what I do. We're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were young, so they're all like family to me. Without them, I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. To work together and fulfill our dreams together has brought me so much ha happiness. But that's why... The thing that scares me the most... If the world gets tired of us, then what what happens? What happens to us? Then the dream dies. Those wonderful days come to an end and everyone goes their separate ways. I mean, everyone grows up and stuff. I mean, so Sayaka, she's trembling. She must be terrified. She worked so hard, sacrificed so much to get to where she is. She must be terrified of losing it. You see. So that's the reason I decided to come to Hope's Peak. Huh? What do you mean? Well, they say that if you graduate from here, success is basically guaranteed. Okay, so that's her reason for coming to the school. I mean, when you put in that perspective, each of these people are here because they're the best of what they are, but they also, in the end, also want to have that guaranteed of success after graduation. Because it's like, hey, if you're good at this, good at what you are right now, but who's to say that you'll be able to keep the same momentum afterwards and whatnot? Which means I could keep on performing with my best friends forever and ever. But at the same time, I mean, that's just to have a guarantee with that. I mean, I really did believe that, but now we're trapped here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. While I'm in here, the world out here, there is forgetting about me. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. But still, Sayaka? Why? Why? Oh man, I can't afford to be stuck in here. That's the first time I heard her cry out from deep within herself. She sounds desperate. But I can't understand why she'd feel that way. Trapped here this way, the dream she put so much effort into is on the verge of disappearing forever. And that isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind words. The weight she's carrying. I can't even imagine it. Sorry. Ah, sorry. I didn't mean to complain. Uh, hey, um, everyone needs a vent to someone. I kind of killed the mood, huh? No, not at all. Sorry. Um, Sayaka. Actually, are you hungry? Before we head back, why don't we go to the dining hall and get some food? So. Okay. 
Okay, there you go. Food brightening up the mood. You want me to make us something to eat? I might not. You may not. I might not li look like it, but I'm actually a pretty good cook. Oh, some cooked food. Okay. Wow, really? What's your specialty? Chili oil. You mean the condiment? <laughs> oh, okay. She's kidding. Okay. She had me too. She burst out laughing. Her earlier mood disappeared, replaced by the bright smile I'd quickly grown used to. That was a quick change of attitude, but I mean, no point in worrying about it. It was almost like a mask, like some kind of neutral expression. You're onto something, Makoto. Like I said, something ain't completely right with her. Anyway, we headed to the dining hall to get something to eat before returning to our rooms. The only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. All it does is make me feel that much more uncomfortable. They should have grabbed it. Anyway, there's still plenty of time in the day. I really don't feel like sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. You're about to have your first experience with the free time. Would you like to hear more? Absolutely. Let me know what this is about. Anyways, why don't you try and spending time with Miss Sayaka Maizono? She's the ideal partner to begin with. Don't you think? The game's kind of pushing me towards this. What makes you think I want her as, as the ideal partner to begin with? I love that sound. That was creepy. Okay, let's go figure out where everyone else is. Dining hall. They're both in the kitchen. She's in the laundry. Sayaka's in her room. Toko's in her room. I guess I could say hi to Sayaka, but I kind of want to say hi to other people right now. Um, let me see what's going on in the hallway with these these three. Ahoy hoy! Remember me? The one and only Hifumi Yamada! Okay, you, you're a useless conversation right there. Where's everyone else at? Okay, Junko. Look at all. Getting stuck in here is, like, totally disgusting. I want to get out of here. <laughs> what, what kind of accent was that? Before anything else, I actually want to go to the gift shop. I want to check out that gift shop that was around. Okay, yep, this is definitely the school store. There's all kinds of Japanese Western blend. It seems more like a clutter antique store. What is this? Oh, maybe if I turn the knob, a prize will come out. Uh, sure, I want to give it a shot. Alright, let's give it a shot. Got the press stuff or. Nice. So for one coin, I get multiple items. Nice. So I got a little sword. Um. Oh, AV room is like what right here? Yep. Okay. What's this? It's a DVD player. I don't see an actual disc nearby. The DVD player is useless by itself. If we had something to watch, at least it'd be help pass the time. Okay, so if I get a DVD player, then DVD, then I could use it right there. I guess first I'm going to talk to Saika. Okay, let's go to Saika. I have to talk to Saika. I have to. Okay, Saika. I guess I should press the doorbell. I guess. Listen. What's up? I'm so anxious. I'm really afraid. Hmm. Should I talk to Saika for a while? Spend time with Saika? Go see who else is around. Yeah, let's say Saika. Are you going to try and cheer me up? Sorry. Sorry for making you take the time out of your day like this. I did my best to comfort Saika. Saika and I grew closer today. Would you like to give Saika a pre present? Nope. Do you think you could make time for the two of us to talk? Well, what's wrong? Why are you being so formal? I... Well, it's just... I guess that kind of was formal, but... It's because I know I could count on you. Where are you going with this? <laughs> Having you by my side really makes me feel a lot better. Uh, um... If you weren't here with me, I just don't know what I'd do. I'd be lost. But that's why... I hate that we have had to meet again under such awful circumstances, but... I'm relieved you're with me. Sayaka. Standing here face to face and hear her say that. It's nice, but kind of embarrassing at the same time. I know how you feel. 
You being here is what saved me. <sighs> really? Hee hee hee. Thank you for the flattery. That smile. That mysterious smile that softens my heart. I really wasn't... It really wasn't flattering her. That smile saved me. I never thought I'd get a chance to really talk to you like this. All through middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, you never even looked at me. It's because you were like a celebrity. I wouldn't just go around staring at you. That's kind of weird. Wait, how do you know I never looked at you? Hey, um... Because I looked at you all the time. What? Sayaka, you're over here saying that pretty calmly. I, that sounds creepy. Huh? I was always looking for opportunity to talk to you. You wanted to talk to me? But, but since I always had so many people around me, we ended up graduating without saying a word. That was all my biggest regrets. But why me? Thank you for asking, Makoto. Do you remember during our first year of junior high, that huge bird wandered into the school pond? Actually, now that I think about it, I do sort of remember something like that. It was something, it was like out of a fairy tale. The turtle once every million years the bird once every thousand okay a huge bird wandered onto the school pond during our first year of junior high i think it might have been sparrow a crane a heron okay it's no sparrow it's definitely a crane i don't know what a heron is i could say a heron it was a crane if it was a big bird it just walked around okay. into the pond that's right that's what it was it was so big, the teacher had no idea what to do. But you led it to the forest behind the school. He helped it find its way out. Well, only because I was really in charge, already in charge of taking care of the animals at school, they made me do it. You see. You should have said thank you then. But is it okay if I do it now? Thank me. I... I'm that crane, you see. I've come to return the favor. Here, let me make you a cloak. What the heck is going on? Sayaka, you are acting weird right now. You're a crane? You could turn into an animal? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Honestly, though, I was impressed. That's why I always wanted to talk to you, even just once. I never imagined this would be how I got my chance. Yeah, if we'd met again at the train station somewhere downtown, that'd make nice for a dramatic reunion. But instead, it's this weird school. I... Maybe, but still. I'm sure you helped me find a way out, just like that crane. You'll save me. You see? It's just intuition. I know, but I still believe it. I'm going to save her? I'll do my best. I promise that. I'll make sure it's more than just intuition. If there's anything I could do, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I believe in you. Besides, my intuition always turns out to be right. Like I said, I'm psychic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nah, <laughs> kidding, kidding. She laughed out loud as she d said that. Said it. The closer we got, the stronger that smile of hers makes me. Make, makes me what? Makes me, oh, make happy, yeah. I was glad to feel that way. Saika's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. You just unlocked the skill. Melodious voice. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Okay, I got a skill. I headed back to my room for a little while. It's nighttime? Hmm. <clears throat> School announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Mm -hmm. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. So, dining room is okay. okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good dining night. hall Sweet strictly night. prohibited. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Ha ha ha. That makes sense because that's where the knives are. Today's already come to an end, but I swear tomorrow I'm going to find some kind of clue. I swear. As my eyelids began to slide closed, the conversation I'd had with Sayaka that morning began to replay. In a way, it's almost frustrating. Even if I understand where her desperation is coming from, I can't share it in. Share in it. The pressure she's under is way different from anything a normal high schooler like me goes through. Hold up. While you're going through this memory thing, Makoto, I just want to check out her report card. Oh, there's also page two. Okay. The thing I remember Makoto most from junior high was when the crane got stuck into the school pond and he helped it get free. I always wanted a chance to talk to him after that. Melody's voice. Pressure Sender is way different from anything a normal high school like me goes through. She didn't just stumble into the school the way I did. So I can't say I feel things 
the way she does compared to her. No, compared to everyone else here. There's no doubt I just don't match up. I guess I might explain my own frustration. Ahem, ahem. So, I'm sure that you've noticed the killing game has begun, but there's still room for a little laughter. It seems our new students, new students already are filled with despair, still have some hope of escape. Hoo hoo hoo. So when will it begin? When will their hope begin to die? Is it time yet? Is it time yet? Heart pounding excitement. Heart pounding excitement. Man, I can't hit my voice that high. Morning has come. What should I do today? Okay, my free time it is. Um, anything else I could do over here? It's a notepad. Maybe I should write down that psych. What psych could told me earlier? Okay, what's up, Psyka? You see. Oh, Makoto, you wanted me? Eh, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Hmm. Should I talk to Sa Sadako for? Yeah, I want to go talk to someone else. I spent the whole day with you. Let's go see what's up with Sakura. That's her name, right? Mm. Yep. Hello. <laughs> I should talk to Sakura for a while. Yeah, let's spend some time with her. Why not? So then. So then. I just got done exercising. Now would be a good time for a break. Would you like to get something to drink and talk for a bit? Yo, I can't. I can't do that. I can't keep going like that. Sakura and I sat down for a tea and, and a calm, relaxing conversation. Okay. Get some tea and hung out. Sakura and I grew closer today. We like to give Sakura a present. My post training break is the most relaxing time of my day. The sensation of your muscles cooling down after heating up during a workout is the only true reward. No matter how many times I experience it, I never get tired of it. Do you exercise every morning, Sakura? Unless there are errands I absolutely can't get out of. Yes, I always do my training. But I'm amazed you can do it every single day. Does it get, th does it get tough? Huh, I can't say. I've never seen it as tough. It's all so that I can get stronger after all. And I have to keep on getting stronger because my destiny is to fight. Your destiny is to fight? From the day I was born, from the day I was born, I've been fighting. Heaven sent me to live as a champion. What is she talking about? That's one a heck of a legend. My father was my master. In every waking moment, I was spent with him in learning to fight. As a child, I spared in bo with boxing champions and hit the mat with a wrestling gold mat. What the heck? I was no match for them when I began, first began, of course. But before long, they were no match for me. Y you mean you actually started beating people like that? I say my specialty is st solid stand-up. That transition into grappling and strong ground game. Essentially, it's a complete approach. Anything else would just make wouldn't make sense. You can only become the best by reaching the top of each discipline, then fusing them all together. Standing up, fighting, grappling, and strong ground game? That can only be. I know Jujutsu. Aikido. I want to say that's more mixed martial arts. Right? Of course. Of course. Nice. Okay. That's right. The most effective reward fighting style, which is why I chose it. I don't want to just be the best in competitions. I want to be the strongest human on earth. I wouldn't bet against you, that's for sure. But aren't you already the best? Well, no, not yet. There's still someone I have to surpass. Really? Huh. Until I can beat him, I'll never become the strongest. You mean there's someone out there stronger than you? Maybe I'll tell you about it another time. If the opportunity presents itself. And she walked away. Yo. <laughs> Sakura didn't make a sound as she left. I honestly can't believe there's someone out there stronger, stronger like Sakura. Even if they're real, I can't. Can it really be human? I head back to my room for a while. Okay, so each one I'm just speaking with a different person. There's still a lot of time left in the day. I really don't feel like sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. I'm a little concerned about Toko in her room, but at the same time, I feel like talking to her is not going to get me anywhere. But at the same time, I am curioso. Leave me alone. You don't have to pay attention to me. <laughs> hmm? Should I hang out with Toko for a while? Yo, hang out with her. I feel. <laughs> okay, let's spend some time. So I, I, I want to go through everyone, anyways. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Just uh, to do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> I spent some time with Toko. Whoa! Why are you looking at me like that? 
Toko and I grew a little closer today. Would like to give Toko a present? No. What's up? She's a stand there. Does she want something? She's not saying anything. Maybe I should try to start a conversation. Um, Toko. <laughs> what? You want to talk to me? Well, I can't stop you, you, so talk already. Okay, sure, but what should I say? So, uh, what do you like to do in your spare time? <laughs> what do you want to know? Well, I mean, you know. We're trapped in here together, right? If we're going to be friends, I, it'd be nice to get to know each other. Huh? What did you say? Um, after that part about being trapped, we're going to be what? Uh, friends? <laughs> uh, what? What do you mean, friends? You think I'm I'm so stupid? You're trying to trick me? I've already been hurt once before. I'm not going to let it happen again. You've been hurt? What happened? Anyway. Probably betrayed by some other people. They, she thought they were friends and then they just made fun of her and stuff or something like that. Come on. You don't really care about me. You don't want to know about me. Even if I know that. No, no. That's not true. <laughs> Fine. Then to tell me. Tell you what? <laughs> you know why they could call me the ultimate writing prodigy, right? Yeah, sure. You've won all kinds of literature prizes and stuff. Then tell me what, what I'm good at. Tell me what, what my genre specialty is. What kind of genre is she writing? She's writing some freaky stuff? <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey? <laughs> Fifty Shades of Toko? I regret saying that. If you really want to convince me <laughs> you give me a crap, you should know at least to know that the genre that the Ultimate Witch Project specializes in is I know it's not nonfiction. Young adult romance. Young adult romance. Young adult romance. Young adult romance. I think it's young adult. Young adult? No, that's not. It's romance. Huh? It was is no. <laughs> I twice. No, no, Makoto, don't do it. No, that's not it. I thought I thought he was gonna go through with it. <laughs> Man, she won't be getting mad. Here, growling. It's romance, of course. You actually knew? Yeah, yeah, I knew. Yeah, we talking about. I, I was playing around, everyone. The book was such a hit that fishermen shots. Yet yeah, they did say that. Man, I forgot about that. How did you know that about all that? There's no way you could care about me. I'm telling you I do. I mean, we're friends, aren't we? Mm. I'm blind. You straightforward nature, but blinded me. Yep. Took her in off, screaming like a banshee. I'm not really sure. Does she hate me now? Toe's report card has been updated based on experience with her. Nice. Let's check it out right now. The um, skills, vocabulary. Okay. Once we were done, I headed back to my room for a little while. The third day here has already come to an end. Well, I... No, we... When are we going to get out of here? I lay in bed and stared blindly, blankly at the ceiling. Before I knew it, I'd fallen into an uneasy sleep.